DJ Pro has some amazing loop features, and in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about loops in DJ Pro. All right, so first, the first place where you're going to see loops is going to be up here on the top right corner. There is going, it's going to say an amount, probably going to say two or four if you never adjusted it. And this is the quickest and easiest way to set a loop. What you do is you press it once and whatever number is rec is represented over here is going to be the amount of loop. So this is a four beat loop. You could go all the way down. If you want to do like a bounce effect, you could go all the way down to one and 32, and then you could go all the way up to 32 beats and to turn it off. You just press it again. And to know if it's on, it's going to be highlighted in blue. And in pro mode, in pro mode, you still get access to it as well. It is right here. I'm just going to go back to classic because the other views are bigger. So that's the easiest way to get to your loops, but there are a lot more advanced features. If you open up this over here, the bottom right, this is how we're going to get to our effects and all of our other features. So we're going to press that once. And then the first one's going to be narrow mix. The second one is going to be our two points. Third one right in the middle is going to be our loops. So there's a lot of stuff that we could do here. So I'm gonna start over here to the left in manual. This is going to set a manual loop. So, so with the song playing, if you have in selected, and then once you press out, that's gonna be your loop. So if you don't want your loops to be aligned with the beat grid by setting the automatic what, two, four, or whatever, then you could set them yourself with the in and out. And then these lines over here, it'll push it either to the right or the left. So that's what we have now. If we press once to so either go to the right or go to your left, it's really, it makes it really easy to organize and move your beats instead of having to redo another manual loop. So that's what those are for. This over here, this represents if that manual loop is on or not. So. It's off, now it's on, and then you could also make that manual loop bigger by using these buttons over here, either make it a 32 or make it less. And then down here, we have another access to set another loop. And then there is a hidden drop down menu in where it says manual, so we're gonna press that, and then we could get to our autos. So this is gonna be the same thing as pressing the, the loop over, up here so you could do a one bar all the way up to 32 and then you could still have your custom ones down here this drop down menu you could change the quantize so it's going to change the quantize of the loop if you have it selected i just keep this unselected but if you wanted to adjust it you would press this drop down menu over here and then to have quantize on you just press this button over here and the blue lights up now let's go to save the loops. So you could set any song that you that you have that you find on playing. You could or you could set the loops up in advance and then have them saved. And anytime you load up this track, you are gonna have your save loop. And you could do up to eight of them. So let's just do that one there, that one there. And now it might be annoying because these will automatically play unless you adjust this setting. So we're gonna go to settings, general. And then right over here, activate save loop one. So if you have this selected, then it's going to play your save loops automatically. If you have it deselected, then it won't play. So that's your save loops. You can have up to eight of them. And keep in mind, they do save. So you only have to set it once. And then that song, even if it's on a streaming service, that song will have these save loops already saved for you. And then to delete them, we press the pencil button over here and we can delete them. And we could also name these save loops. So you see where it says 34 seconds. If we press the drop down menu, we could save that. So if you're looping like a vocal, like if the vocal saying like, yeah, or something, you could write, yeah. And then that save loop will have the name. You can't change the colors, but you could change the name of the loop. Now we're going to go to bounce. So what bounce is going to do is it's pretty self-explanatory. When you press it, it's going to bounce it into a loop, uh, either two from two all the way up to one fourth. I'll just show you what it sounds like. And then another hidden feature is if we go to this drop down menu, you could set the bounce loops to be for Neuromix. So we could have just the vocals bounce. 
So you have this button selected and then you choose what you want. So we're inbounds. I chose inbounds. I chose vocals and then you press this button. It's lit up on blue. Now listen. So it's really cool for doing builds up, build ups before drops and stuff. And you can control just the vocals or just the drums or just the harmonics. And then a drop down menu in bounce, we can get to a pad. So this is going to bounce it and then add a high pass or a low pass filter. So some people like doing effects and loops with pads and it actually works really well with the touch screen of the iPad. So that's how you do loops. If you clicked on this video to learn how to use the looper, check out this video where I'll show you how to use the looper.